What is going on everybody and welcome back to what could well be the last episode of this career mode on FIFA 19. I'm hoping I'll have this up and out before FIFA 20 comes out. That would be the ideal situation and I don't see why not. So I'm hoping that yeah we can get a couple more in but we'll just have to wait and see. This could well be the last episode. The first thing though up to date we have got a game against Sheffield United. You will also notice the date. January the 1st, the transfer window is upon us and we are going to attempt to bring a couple of players in or at least just kind of concentrate on those areas where we are struggling so far. We've already gone down one nil, which isn't great, but we've managed to get a goal back. Tom Hopper is injured and that kind of brings me around to the conversation of where I want to go with our transfers. We don't really have that killer striker up top and you can see we can't finish games off like this. We ended up drawing one all. We really do need to find someone. Seeing as Tom Hopper is out for around six weeks as well, that does kind of just add to the reasoning that we need to sign a new striker. We've only got one other man, or Robinson as well, who's a 62, but he's really not up to the standard of the league, unfortunately. We do have Morris, but again, the development is a bit sluggish. If we can get someone in that's maybe around a 70 rated, that would be good work. So I'm actually just going to have a little search now, see if there's any strikers out there that are around 70, maybe that can come in on loan initially till the end of the season. And then obviously next year, depending on what league we're in, we can make a move for another player. All right, you join me, myself, you can see there on the screen, we're in negotiations for Pietro Pellegrini. We're actually going to just go for a short term deal for him till the end of the season. Hopefully that will work out. And the thing with him is, I'm not going to lie, I can't remember where he came from. He's at Monaco at the moment, so I'm pretty sure they've brought him in. But he was on my transfer hub or negotiation history from before, so I've tried to get him. I just can't remember my complete reasoning behind it. He's obviously talented. He's a 71 rated so far, which is definitely an improvement on what we've got so far. He seems to be a decent out-and-out -out striker. So, again, is looking promising. That 60-40 percentage breakdown isn't too bad either so i think i'm actually just going to roll with that hopefully he wants to join he'll be in at the club and we've got ourselves a brand new striker unfortunately we haven't got the deal for pellegri done just yet so for this game at least morris is stepping in and this game is actually a cup game i'm gonna say it's the carabao cup because i don't think it's that time of the season just yet for the fa cup to begin in fact i may well be wrong but it doesn't matter too much. We're actually a little bit low on fitness for this game, which has surprised me a little bit, which means actually Kipriano is going to be coming in for this game, which is a very rare appearance for him. In terms of everybody else, I think that's pretty much all we can do. I will take Bailey off the bench, put Kitely in instead. We've got enough wingers there, so we'll take out one more player. DN can sit there. It's not ideal for fitness, but... We'll just have to roll with it. You can see here we've put Elvis at left back as well. I think he's got to the point where seeing as he can play left back as well, he's four higher than Ben Coker in rating, so it seems stupid not to start him. Might as well go for that old tactic again there. The reverse cross back in with a header. Oh, and it works. Reese Nelson as well. You wouldn't expect him to be hitting him in like that. 1-0. We've started off so well. Lovely stuff down the line. Get that cross in. McLaughlin back post, straight into the keeper's hands. Could have been caught out a little bit here. How did that go in? That was a really good goal. Like Lewis was onto it, but no, nah, it was just a good goal. We got caught out on the counter. Morris. It's a great ball through there. Oh, the shooting boots have gone today. There we go, there we go, there we go. That is good. Ball up. Oh, there we go. Yearwood. You beauty. That's no less than what we deserved. We've had like, what, 12 shots to their three? Okay, that is that. We did well, to be fair. We played really well. It was just a struggle to actually finish anything, but it's fine. We're through to the next round. With that win, I honestly have no idea who we've got in the next round of the cup now, but I'm sure it'll end up being a massive, a massive team, probably a Prem team. But still, you know, we want to have a nice cup run. It helps the fans, helps the environment of the club. 
and yeah as long as it doesn't get in the way of our league campaign it's all good this is the news that i wanted pietro pellegri has accepted our short-term loan and it will be in i imagine till the end of the season i think that's usually what a short-term loan is for now at least it'd be about six months so he can get straight into the team. And I'm actually just going to chuck him straight into the starting 11. Morris did do well last game. I can't deny it. But it's just that finishing isn't quite there. I'm hoping that Pellegrini, he's a bit more of a old-fashioned striker, shall we say. Hold up play, which also you could say Morris is. But I'm just hoping he's that little bit more clinical. And I guess the best way to test that out is to chuck him straight into the starting 11 for the next league game. Hull, I think are just below us in the league. And that's not good that Lewis is injured already. I'm hoping we can score. I'm hoping we can win. I'm hoping Pellegrini can get it as well. But we will skip to the end now. And that is not good. A really late winner as well. Not the best start. I can't say I was expecting this, but someone has actually put a bid in for Morris. Betis want him for 1.3 million. I mean, it's a decent amount of money, but he does actually have good potential. So for that reason, I'm going to reject it. And from what I said before, I know I've brought Pellegri in, but that's only a short term thing. I have actually tweaked some of my training as well now. So hopefully we can actually start to bring uh, Morris back into the team eventually as he gets a slightly better rating through the training. For this match though, Pellegri does retain his position. I don't know if Mark Oxley has picked up an injury as well, but Ted Smith is actually in goal for this game. Lewis is still out, which is unfortunate. And we have already gone a goal down. We do actually have another game in about two or three days, which is up against Derby. So that's going to be another tough one, especially in terms of the stamina for our team. We are going one all at the moment. Ended up as a one all draw. It's not too bad, but obviously I would want more. And if you want a quick look at what I've done, you can see I've changed a few of the players round. We've still got Bisek and Yearwood in. Obviously, we want to kind of build them up as the core of our team. We've also brought Bailey back because he could really go on to a super high level. He's still got that potential. He's only around 18 or 19 still. Morris, I do want to gradually bring him in. You can see his finishing is only 56, so it's really not great. And of course, we have Harris, our attacking midfielder. He also has very high potential. Hopefully, we can bring him into the team on a permanent basis and really build him up okay this is that game that i said about just a moment ago we're up against derby you can see already i don't need to run through everything i've made a lot of changes all these guys on the bench have pretty much swapped out because of low stamina lewis as well is still injured must only be for a few more days but that is our team that we're going with it's still very strong and it should still give us a really good chance we're away from home it's going to be difficult but we can win it all right this is a big one we need to get back on track in the league. We're doing all right in the cup, but the league competitions struggling. There's a gap through there. Yearwood. Oh, that was nearly an own goal. Okay, there's a man in the middle. Surely that's a goal. Oh, good save. Great clearance. Come on. Come on, Reese. Oh, the deflection. Yes, let's go. Who was that? Surely it wasn't Morris. No, Yearwood again. Yearwood, that man, he's on it. Oh, finally, we've worked so hard. Oh, what pace. Come on, Reese. come on. Someone's in their back post. McLaughlin controls it. Off the post. We scored. Oh, Morris actually got a goal. I'm about to sub him off, but still... Finally. Come on, let's not concede late on. There we go. 2 0. Again, we deserve that. We played really well. Pelegri's looking dangerous as well. Morris got a goal. There's not much more we can ask for. I'm just having a little look at where we are in terms of the games today at least and we've got a cup game next fa cup again this time we're up against qpr and i'm thinking should i play it or should i not if i look into next month that aren't the hardest games in the world all these teams are kind of around us wolves is obviously extremely difficult but i'm thinking i might actually leave that till the next episode i am very tempted to play that cup game but i think i might i might trust in the team and hope that they can do a job and then maybe play the game against Leeds, simulate Middlesbrough and Blackburn. 
But then again, we want to go on a mega cup run. We want to get a trophy. So I'm going to play the QPR game. Then after that, Leeds, Middlesbrough, Blackburn. We'll simulate it. And next episode, we will start off nice and fresh with a big old game up against Wolves. I know it's rare, but we actually more or less have our best team to play with for once. Pellegrini's here. hudson Adoy is finally back. smith Rowe there. Bailey on the left. Yearwood in midfield. We've got Elvis at left back now. Our two centre-backs who are getting so much better as well. Then, of course, we have our, our bench, which is pretty low on fitness, but it's fine because, you know, if they need to come on, they'll be good in the game. QPR. I believe this puts us in the quarterfinals if we win this, so everything is riding on this game. Let's go, let's go. Let's get on this counter here. Probably not the man we need, given that his pace isn't ideal. But it's fine, because he's got one hell of a delivery. A a bit. I think Pellegri touched that there. So we'll restart with a throw in. Pellegri! Hudson Adoy on the volley! Oh, just over. Come on. Yes, Bailey. Let's get that shot off. Good save. Easy little tapping for Pellegrin. 1 0. Lovely, Lovely stuff through to Smith Row. Back post, Bailey is there. No one else. Should be a goal. 2 0. Thank you very much. Oh, no one's there, are they? Okay, Smith Row got there. How the hell did he beat all those defenders? Man's a magician. Oh, lovely turn. Great save. Incredible save. Come on, Pellegri. Get that shot off. Oh, good effort. Oh, we got a pen anyway. I mean, the man earned the penalty, so you may as well have it. We'll go over to the left. More like the middle, but it's fine. 4-0. This has become an absolute demolition. Come on, down the line. Pellegri! Oh, he scored a hat trick with a bicycle kick ish. What an introduction. What a man. Great ball by Smith Rowe, too. Boom. Wow. 5 0? I've even lost count. 5 0? 4 0? What a game. I don't even know what I can say about that last game. That was absolutely incredible. We're already jumping into the next one, which happens to be up against Preston. Pellegri, the man, on his first game where I'm playing with him, scores a hat trick. That lovely little bicycle kick at the end. I'm just hoping we can carry on with the form as we go 1 0 down. Maybe it's not looking so promising. We'll skip to the end. Maguire's got two, and we lost 2 1. That momentum all of a sudden just gone. Luckily enough, that last game was actually a game in hand for us, so we didn't end up losing out in the league after that as Pellegri bangs in a goal straight away. We still are actually around 15th. I'm hoping this could project us up a little bit higher if we can get a victory here, which so far is looking promising. And to be fair, this is one of the games where I wouldn't expect us to be able to nail out a result, but I will skip to the end. Kemal Roof getting the equaliser, making it 1-0. I mean, it's not ideal. I know I always say that. But against a big team like that, it's probably not too bad. And that actually does leave us 16th place, which is kind of similar to where we were before. We're 12 points above relegation, and we may have slipped a little bit behind playoffs, which we may as well keep an eye on. 50 points, which is Leeds. We're 11 points, so we have slipped a good few points there. That win against Leeds would have been nice, but unfortunately, we couldn't hold on to it. There's not much else we can do. I was going to play the Middlesbrough game, but I think I am actually going to leave it. We have another day in the transfer window, so if there is anyone else you want me to sign, let me know. I'll try and squeeze in as many more episodes as I can before the next FIFA comes out. I don't know how many, if any, we will get in, but what a way we've ended on today. Pellegri managed to score a hat-trick in that cup game. We're through to the quarterfinals. The cup run is well and truly here, boys. It's very exciting, but like I said, I am going to leave it here. I hope you all enjoyed. Like the video if you did. Dislike it if you didn't. I'm always up for reading your comments if you don't like anything specific about the series. And that is about that. Thank you all for watching. Remember to subscribe if you're new around here. And I'll see you all on the next video.